Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my 1,000 square feet, 100 square meter, $3,300 per month to be to be apartment based in Kirkland near Seattle. I don't know if you can see me, but this is our balcony. Come on in. Let me show you this living room. I really like the Lego feeling aspect of this couch because you can piece it together in unlimited ways. But the problem is that every time I sit here, I will be sitting inside the gap, no matter where I face. We finish almost every sitcom you can possibly imagine sitting on this couch. Lots of great memory. Over here is a painting that I got from my friend. And I think this painting really resembles me, even though most of my friends couldn't tell that this is a person. Like, this is the face. This is the hair. How can you not tell? Look at this. Isn't it just me? Now come over here. Over here are some of my plants. My favorite one is this one. My partner and I call it our sun. It's a money tree, but it's in a ball. And we love it because of the ball. And if you wonder how do we ever water it, we just immerse it in a pot of water and it will absorb. And we water it every two weeks. We also got the worst investment of the year over here. And this is Apple Vision Pro. I spent 4,000 on this piece of crap. It's kind of useless. It also hurts your face. Buy a Mac, don't buy an Apple Vision Pro. And this is just beautiful flower from the supermarket to make the space more refreshing. Little things like this really inspires me in my work and in my design. If I have to recommend just one book from this shelf, it will be Feel Good Productivity by Ali Abdel. Let me show you the other side. This is the other side of my living room that many of you have seen from my videos. I got a new sign. I got this new tree that I've never showcased to you guys before. I got this bike desk. Sometimes I will just journal here. You can adjust it to anything that you like. It also works as a standing desk. Most of my time, I'm working this way, standing here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a little daikon sitting on this tree. I got it with my best friend in Las Vegas, and I think it just adds a lot of character to our place. Over here is a reading corner I designed for my partner. This is a blanket from Notion. Notion always sends the best gift. So it's a little cat. Honestly, if Notion is a fashion brand, I think they will still be very successful. My partner is reading Thinking Fast and Slow, but the Chinese version of it. And over here, I got a bicycle from Google. At Google main campus, they used to have this kind of bikes all over the campus. As a designer, I think using these many colors, it's very challenging. So I bought it from Google main campus, and then we just use it as a decor. And now let me show you my room. This is my room, and the layout of this room has changed for over 10 times because I like to move stuff around. Also, this is where a guest will stay. Literally last week, my friends stay over here, and every time my friends stay over here, I make sure they have a private bedroom, private bathroom, and a walk-in closet. This is my workspace, and this is a standing desk from FlexiSpot. I will say I sit 80% or 90% of the time, and then I stand 10% of the time. But this is a weird thing about the tech industry. As soon as you enter the tech industry, the first thing you will do is ask your company to buy you a standing desk. Over here, I got one monitor from LG. This is my partner's monitor. What I do here is I look at other inspirations or I just play a huge background music. This is another gift from Notion. I think they're losing money not selling these kind of products. Look, it's just so cute and you can use it every month because you just need to see the date. And they also have cute doodle on the back. This is an ergonomic mouse from Logitech. I love it because it's white, it's aesthetic. It is the most ergonomic poster you can ever find online. It's like this. Perfect. This pen is from Figma. This is their gift to me. These days, I've been making schedules with ChatGPT. I just input requests in ChatGPT and then I print this out and then I try to follow it. Let me show you how many schedules I've already printed out from ChatGPT. This one I follow pretty well from morning to 11 p.m. This one. Oh, this one is inspired by my primary school schedule because I have so many works left after returning from a trip from Dubai. It worked, but then I got sick, so I don't really recommend it. And this is my work journal where I just write lots of plans and then write about my feeling about work and just document my work. 
This is a piano that I barely play, but here's how to tell if a person knows how to play a piano or not. Oops, I don't think I can pass the test with that. Anyways, you get the idea. Come on in, let me show you my closet. I'm very proud of my closet, so please give a positive reaction. Ta-da! This is the first walk-in closet that I've ever had. I am a semi-minimalist, so every year I wear one shade of color. And thank you for going through so many era of me, from the mixed color era to red era to the beige era last year, and this year it's all dark. And when I say dark, I mean literally every piece is either black or gray. And every year I just donate all the rest of the clothes to charity or store them in those four boxes. And I'm a really OCD person. Whenever I fall in love with something, I just buy the entire set. This is my luggage set. And they are all from Muji. Muji is my favorite brand. Muji literally means no logo. So their design is simple, to the point, and with high quality and functional. And this is a day bag that I never sleep at. My guests will sleep here. That is my diploma. That piece of thing, very, very expensive. Over here, I got a map as a decor. It's literally a poster and then an IKEA frame. Saves a lot of money. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's the most updated version of a map, but it looks great. If you ever stay in my room as a guest, you'll be using this toilet. Come on in. So this is where you'll be brushing your teeth, washing your hand, doing your skincare. I'm not a beauty vlogger, so you shouldn't take any skincare advice from me. But recently, my friends have been suggesting to use extra thick cotton tissue to wipe my face instead of just using a towel. It feels pretty luxurious. I like it. I know SK2 is pretty good. I know the Muji skin toning water is pretty good. And I, I don't think I can recommend anything beyond that. I don't have a lot of stuff. I have this entire shelf literally just here for the decoration purpose. I try to be clutter free. This is a gift from my friend. I love it. It looks pretty good here. And this is from World Market. It definitely doesn't look like me, but I love it. It's so cute. When I was living in London for one semester, I was obsessed with self-care and taking bubble bath. And one day my roommate got this from me and she literally got it by stolen it from a donation box. I love it. We were young back then. That's what college kids do. My bathroom has two doors. So if I open up this door, then you will arrive at the kitchen. But if you are a guest in my place, I will absolutely ask you to close this door because I don't want the kitchen to be facing a toilet. This is the flower to bring out more positive energy from the kitchen and also add a little bit of accent color. This is the candle that I actually never light, but I light it for today's video. It's a gift from Loom and it says cancelled meeting. Love that. Manifest for that. I got a dishwasher that I can never live without. And no, it is not a drying rack. I'm Asian, but I use it as a dishwasher. The most life-changing product UX design-wise will be this. It's such a tiny little thing, but it really helps me save a lot of counter space. It flows here and I can still use one hand to get my paper. This is a rice cooker from Muji. Aesthetic-wise, this is my absolute favorite rice cooker. This is where I eat every single meal in the past three years. Because we don't have a TV in this area, so we have an extra iPad just to view TV shows. And what usually happens is that we finish half of episode when we are eating it, and then I do the dishes, and then my partner set up the rest of the episode over the living room, and then I join him over there. This is a Chick-fil-A sauce that my partner bought yesterday. And do you know why? This is what people do when there's an H-1B lottery in the US. H-1B is the work visa that we actually need to enter a literal lottery to win in order to keep working here legally. People buy Chick-fil-A because they think Chick-fil-A is related to USCIS. So we bought it and guess what? It didn't work. The reason I'm shooting today's vlog is because neither me nor my partner win the H-1B lottery this year and we will be moving to Toronto next month. Can you believe it? Before I get more emotional, let me show you the bedroom. Welcome to my 
bedroom. Technically speaking, this is my partner's workspace plus our bedroom. So over here, this is the workstation of a software engineer at Google. He's currently out with his software engineer friend, so it's just me and you. And let's look at his workspace first. Almost everything here is sponsored by Google. He got two monitors, one monitor stand that can actually hold two monitors, one Logitech camera, one whatever this is. Oh, it's a screen bar. This is a mechanical keyboard with literally no letter on it. Why would you buy a product like this? He told me he can customize where to put each letter. I don't understand. Almost everything is sponsored by Google except this. This is sponsored by me. It's from Papier and it says, I'm a trillion. This is a funny joke between me and my boyfriend. Whenever we don't do stuff, we just say, I feel like I'm trash. And instead of saying I'm trash, we decided to say that I'm a trillion to manifest that we can earn a lot in the future and we're worth a lot. Over here is a very affordable bed from IKEA with some very affordable mattress. We've switched this mattress for over three times. The cheapest version works best for me. I have a horrible back, so I can't sleep on a mattress that's too soft. And most mattresses in the US, oh my god, it's like sleeping on a cotton candy. There's a closet, but I wouldn't present that. It's just, you know what? I think we shall present it. This is his closet. It definitely doesn't fit my standard. This is another piece that didn't fit my standard and got decluttered to this closet. It's this little Google thing. It looks like a kindergarten toy to me. Before you go, let me show you my entryway. You enter our apartment from here, and then you'll see this piece of art that I actually draw it myself using Figma. The story goes like this. One of our couple friends, one day they were debating about a banana on whether it's ripe or not. And then they debated about this for over an afternoon and then they sent us the picture over the group chat. And I just suddenly realized that that pretty much symbolized what is a relationship because different people will always share different opinions. It symbolizes communication, relationship, two people living in this space, fertility, I don't know. <laughs> And my friend, it has been over two years since I started making video from this apartment. I even registered my company from this apartment. And it has been over one year running my own company. I just want to say thank you for experiencing this journey with me. Even though I did not get H1B lottery, neither did my boyfriend. But hey, it just means that I will be leaving a new chapter, literally starting next month. Oh, by the way, if you want to see how this apartment looks two years ago, check out this video. I will see you in Toronto. Bye.